A lot of conservatives around the state, or around the country, um, are, are criticizing you as being more of a moderate type, more of a uh, John McCain style candidate. Can you speak to that? Can you uh, just speak to that as far as why they think that of you? Well, they haven't looked at my record. If they look at my record, they'll find that I'm a conservative problem solver. Uh, look at what we did in the state of Utah. Look what we did on tax reform, uh, on economic uh, vitality. Uh, on health care reform. I'm pro-life, I'm pro-Second Amendment, I worked for three Republican presidents. Uh, all they have to do is look at my record. I'm proudly running on my record. A lot of people run from the record. Right. I'm running on my record, and I think when people look at it, as opposed to just hear whatever description is tossed around out there, they'll find that I'm a conservative. Problem. What sets you apart from the other candidates in the race? It's a pretty crowded race. Uh, well, that's a good thing. So what sets you apart from them? What do you think? Well, business experience, having governed successfully as, uh, as a state governor with, I think, some really good models uh, of reform that I think have national uh, implications. And three is knowledge of the world. This world is uh, complex and it's uncertain, uh, and it's not going to get uh, any less complicated. And understanding our largest trading partner and understanding our most significant strategic challenge in, in the years ahead, I think it's going to be very important and it does set a society for the now, now lastly, you were very uh, strong on immigration. You used very uh, tough rhetoric. You, 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 you were proposing troops on the ground on the border. Uh, pretty much anything in our arsenal, you still stand by those statements? To or, secure the border. To secure the border, yeah. That's where we need to be first and foremost. We need to prove the point that we can secure the border before we move on with further discussion on what to do with people who are already here in the country. Okay. We've seen no movement at all in the last many years, and let's just take this one step uh, and prove to the American people that we can get that done, and then we'll move on to that which lies beyond. Well, we need, we need to ensure that, that we recognize the importance of uh, immigration into this country, legal immigration. <coughs> legal immigration has added a significant dimension to who we are as a nation. I have two daughters standing up here who I think prove that point. We're here at a business that also proves that point. And I believe that uh, the brain power, the innovation that uh, has migrated to this country, legally is, uh, is, uh, has been part of our overall success. So what would you do with the 12, people, undocumented, the 12 million undocumented When we look at uh, illegal immigration, I think we need to prove the point first and foremost as we talk about this. And I know that the rhetoric and the discussion gets very, very hot. I think to begin this conversation, we need to prove the point that we can secure the border. Before we go on with this conversation, everybody wants to do what's right with 11 or 12 million people who are here. That's a very difficult, sensitive, and complicated question. But to begin this conversation, we need to prove the point that we can secure the border. And we're not there yet. And I think until we do that, we're not going to have, uh, uh, I think, the basis for uh, a rational conversation on, uh, on, uh, on immigration reform. Mr. Hunter, you talked about securing the borders. Uh, what kind of definition, do you have any definition for what that would be? No, nobody comes across? Any limit? changed the system somewhat, so it's become a little more onerous, a little backed up. Uh, right, sir, but when you talk about the fact that we haven't shown we can, that we can secure our borders, what to you would be an example of showing that we can secure our borders? Well, let's start with the fact that we've got 1,800 and 1,900 miles. We're probably a third of the way there in terms of the work that has already been done. It's probably $2 million per mile uh, in order to put uh, some sort of fencing or barrier there. And I believe that through a combination of fencing uh, and technology uh, and also having people on the board, uh, whether our National Guard or whether Homeland Security representatives, uh, that we can check with the border governors, and this is what I think is going to be important, is uh, getting uh, uh, some sort of word from the four border governors that through their law enforcement officials, they can in fact uh, get to us that the border is secure. Uh, I would very much look forward to making sure that we have verified from them the fact that we will secure the border. It's not going to happen until they've been able to verify that. Thank you, Governor. Thank you.